This is Witchbase News for Friday the 3rd of January 2020 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Frontier reiterate their schedule for the near future and share some big elite numbers A planetary circumnavigation record is broken The AXI publishes their annual anti-xeno report Commander Tokoso hits Photoshop for Christmas and Lavecon 2020 tickets go on sale. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notifications. You can also join us on the Burr Pit Discord server and you can become a supporter of this channel through Patreon or YouTube membership. Links to everything you need are in the description below. First and foremost everyone at the Burr Pit would very much like to wish you and yours the happiest of happy new years and what a year this is going to be. Without a shadow of a doubt this is one way or another going to be one of the most defining years that Elite Dangerous has ever known. It kicks off sometime in January with the first of this years updates with bug fixes incoming off the back of last years speed beta. The awaited and then long awaited and then very long awaited much postponed fleet carrier update is scheduled to arrive around the middle of the year and so logically sometime between now and June-ish we should finally start hearing what fleet carriers actually are and what they bring to the game. Then sometime towards the end of 2020 the much hyped, hugely anticipated, possibly leaked paid update is due to casually stride into the room possibly wearing shoes or driving a new SRV or fighting high winds and battering rain. No one except Frontier really knows what it is or indeed when we'll find out what it is. Whatever happens over the next 12 months it will surely forever define Elite Dangerous going forward. What a year this could be. Frontiers regular schedule of Let's Play lunchtime livestreams kicks off again on the 6th of January. To paraphrase David Braben himself ...it's all very exciting. Over the Christmas break Frontier released an infographic detailing some of the colossal statistics that have emerged from Elite Dangerous over its lifetime thus far. This stuff is always fascinating and serves to underline just what a unique experience Elite Dangerous is. Some of our favourites include 4,788,600 Thargoids eliminated no wonder they don't like us just 0.042% of the galaxy explored over 200 million used limpets left littering the galaxy the human race just can't help itself can it Total rebuys for commanders amount to 6 trillion 979 billion 89 million 133,261 credits. At least half of that is people hooning around GD140 by our reckoning. And our absolute favourite number, the longest distance travelled in the humble sidewinder. 167,277 light years by Commander Rincewind Cymru. That is one seriously used sidey, one careful owner. The record for the longest planetary circumnavigation was entered into the Planetary Circumnavigation Club's Hall of Fame just before Christmas. Commander Straha Jaeger completed a four month drive around BLAU EUQ WK V D31 C7. The planet has a circumference of 12,690 km. That's an estimated journey of 16,000 km in an SRV. Four months in an SRV. Elite Dangerous proving yet again that it is all things to all people. Commander McGram of the Anti-Xeno Initiative published the 3305 annual Thargoid report to Reddit this week detailing the movements of the green meanies this last year, the achievements of humanity's efforts against them, the changes to the galaxy as a result of the Lurgy lettuce infestation and a quick look at what you can do right now and what to possibly expect in the next 12 months. 
Whilst Thargoid movement has been stagnated since the Witch Head Sector and the Enclave Interstellar Initiative you can still fight Thargoids and assist Operation Ida in their ongoing cleanup operations. Well worth a read the report has a nice section detailing date by date benchmark moments in AX activity throughout the year including that time when Commander Taterchip held the newly discovered Orthrus variant on the ground and punched it to death. Serial image and music creator Commander Takoso took to Photoshop over the Christmas period and produced some brilliant pictures depicting Elite's biggest ships in real world scenarios. You'll see a couple of them in the background right now. Hit the good commanders Twitter feed linked below to see the rest. They're quite excellent because he's some sort of witch. And finally tickets are now on sale for this years Lavecon which is the 3rd to the 5th of July. Destiny, unhappy accident and fate have conspired against us in previous years to get to Lavecon, not this year. We're attending in force. The entire Burr Pit family will be there. If you're planning on being there we'd love to meet you. You'll find a link below to the Lavecon website as well as links to everything else we've talked about this week. That's it for the first Witchspace news of 2020. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, 07 Commanders, follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.